Some people would be like, oh, you have a face now. How old are you? They look at you as like, not there yet. Has he not moved on from college life? Wow, they call him, they call him Key on a... <laughs> Any life advice? Oh. Oh. I with that my hair. You know what would go viral? If we kiss right here. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Ran into Ryan. Came through to Beam Street. It was at our office. We got nice cleaning. And then we're like, let's grab lunch. If you're good at something, you'll tell people. But if you're great at something, people will tell you, right? So you just wait for people to, to come to you. So Ryan, what's the key to having a healthy, sexy smile? Healthy, sexy smile? You gotta go to Beam City and Beam Street. Oh, oh that's yeah. a great curve. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So this place is called New Wanzhou. New Wanzhou. But it's not new. It is probably one of the oldest in Kitao. It's Kitao. actually one of the oldest, yeah. I think it used to be called this Wanzhou. Oh. After the renovation. Who here is dank and the lunch special is so worth it? Oh yeah. Look at that. Gains a clock and they have really good pan too, which I really appreciate. So John, what are we filming today? We are gonna try something new. It's called Living Together Diaries. <laughs> something show choice. So also inspired by Evelyn. And also can't forget Bija and Ethicin. It's sort of like uh, taking borders and into content making. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yo, we just found out it's Brian's, Brian's birthday. birthday, so we're gonna sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ryan. Happy birthday to you. Thank you guys. Beautiful singing from the J Rose. Happy birthday, bro. Yeah, Let's go. Birthday. Good afternoon, everybody, from New York City Fifth Avenue. We are venturing out of K Town today. We're heading over, taking you guys to. The most romantic park in New York City Midtown, which is Briar Park. <laughs> Originally, we were going to film at home today to kick off the Living Together series, but it's really nice out, so we're taking you on a walk. Do you think that two 30-year-old friends rooming with each other is a common scenario? I wouldn't say very common, but a lot of 30-year-old people are still roommates. Do you think they're friends? Usually not. I think we're fortunate to have each other. Oh, that's cute. Uh, uh. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Hold on. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh. Nope. Some people don't like the chaos and the hustle and bustle of the city. Mm -hmm. If you have any curiosity about living in New York City, try it if you can. Or else, watch our blue odds to find out how it is like. Oh, oh. nice pitch. Yeah. Not sold. In the last year, many things have changed. We've gotten smarter and cuter. Nope. Something has also undergone some massive improvements. Oh, which is? Grammarly. Who is the sponsor of this video? Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps you communicate more effectively by offering a myriad of suggestions and feedback. It's a useful tool that's a no-brainer to use when I write my emails, documents. I even use it for my dental notes now. Oh, nice. So Grammarly is not just a spelling and word check. Uh, there's a free version that does all that. Mm -hmm. There's also Grammarly Premium, which gives you stylistic feedback and suggestions. Grammarly Premium's Clarity Full Sentence rewrites your sentences so that they're clearer and more concise. Additionally, there is a tone detector which lets you know whether you're sounding friendly, courteous, or professional. Mm. What kind of tone you're going for and how to transform it is another feature. I'm a very friendly person in life, but in emails, it can be very stoic. I honestly don't want that. What about in, uh, on your dates? You can use our link grammarly.com slash jbro to download Grammarly for free on your desktop and get 20% off on Grammarly Premium. Go check it out. Drop it like us, huh? <laughs> Drop it like us. Yo, every time you do that, you look like a poop. <laughs> on the right, you will see Bryant Park, which we're going to go into in a second. But behind Bryant Park is one of the most famous, iconic buildings in New York City, which is the New York Public Library. Wow. Yo, Jason. Hmm? Yo, that's impossible because I'm smoking hot, baby. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Uh, nope. Uh, let's go for a walk, shall we? This is New York Public Library. It is gigantic. Um, let's go inside for a second. Oh, so 
I don't know that much else about this library, but it's uh, almost reminds me of my college and dental school libraries. You know, place to study. It's kind of like a, in a way, it's like going to the gym. Everybody else is doing the same thing and it feels like you're not alone. I think that's the cool thing about libraries or cafes or gyms. Even though you're not talking to anybody, you're still among people. And that's how I feel about New York City sometimes. I don't like being in crowded places, necessarily, but I don't feel alone. Meanwhile... Whew. Influencers in the wild! Oh, how is it in there, sir? I think we should do a study with me vlog there. Even though we don't study anymore. Hey, I'm done with that life. You done? Actually, no, I, I'm kind of still studying. No, you're not. I'm always studying. Welcome to... Can you roll your R's? Huh? Can you roll your R? Welcome to... The... Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Say 68 degrees outside. Perfect, perfect lovely day. Yeah. Grand Park in the wintertime is most romantic and scenic at night because it gives you the whole... Uh, what do you call that? Movie? Romantic vibe. Well, we already used that line. Maybe movie. <laughs> word I know. Cinematographic. Cinematography. <laughs> Cinematographic. <laughs> this feels really nice. You can feel the coldness of the ice. Is that blood? John, can you show us uh, your triple McTwist with the side of McTwist, McFries, <laughs> and uh, McFlurry uh, to go? I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> so for the McTwist, you asking for the McTwist? McTwist. Oh, that's all. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed right now. Like, I'm pretty embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> can you do a McNugget? Uh, McNugget? Can you do a double McNugget? Triple cheese? Triple cheese. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of the eateries and bars right next to Bryant Park. It almost feels like we're at a ski lodge. Shout out to my Mexicana, Mexicanos. Say something in Spanish. Hola, me amo Jason. Que paso? Me gusto. Chili, pepper, soy muy caliente. Oh. Adios. Fuego! Should we do a mukbang here? I'm down. I kind of want something healthy. <laughs> I could use a sandwich. go to Whole Foods? Sandwich. Here's a sandwich. Are you hungry already? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. After that? Oh, that's sick, bro. Oh. Oh, I think it's a free. I think it's for free. Is it? Yeah. Nope. Corn dog. Wow, look at that corn dog price, bro. <laughs> oh, $10 for a corn dog. <laughs> that's like, yeah. I gotta work overtime for that. It's insane, dude. Eight fifty. Yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> that's double the Korean corn dogs. Bubble tea. Bubble tea. Wow. $8. Oh, that's premium. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Guys, uh, I don't know if I can do this. This is like by principle, like, why would you pay $8 for a boba? I'm just gonna tell you straight up, uh, unless you're rolling in the dough. <laughs> Even if you are, I don't think you should pay $9 for a boba. So we're right next to Bryant Park. Uh, where are we, Jason? We're at La Pong. La Pong. Quotidien. Quotidien. Oh, you French though. Oh. You looking like this, bro. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> do you guys have sandwiches? Yes, we got. Oh, avocado toast. Down? Sure. Can I get avocado toast? Thank you. You get smoked salmon? Uh, smoked salmon? I'm down. Sir, would you like to do the squeeze? Oh, yes. The lemon squeeze. So only the fanciest of the fancies can eat avocado toast. Yes, and that is you. Oh, it's dripping. Drip, 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 drip. Look at the camera. All right, don't look at the camera. <laughs> Salmon for. That Just eat it, bro. <laughs> it's very oceany. Ah. Uh, Teamwork. Oh yeah. Mm. Let's talk about living in New York City, but specifically living with each other <laughs> as roommates. Yeah. I think we were very compatible. I, I think if we weren't, mm -hmm. these last two years would have been would have been miserable. Yeah. We would have moved out by now. I think you're a pretty good roommate. 
So I feel the same way you. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you're very tidy and clean when it comes to like like toilet floors, and you're very meticulous about that. And you correct me sometimes if, I, if I'm not doing my my share. But then we have we, sh we have different bathrooms, so. That's true. That's also true. That's that's probably like a big plus for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own I think the the most important thing about a roommate is um, someone who has nunchi. Uh. <laughs> someone who has the ability to be aware. To have other person's like sentiments. Right. About like without necessarily being told. Exactly. Because nobody wants, I don't want to tell you anything. For example, if I'm cleaning, mm -hmm. then Jason will come down and do something at yeah. the same time. If I'm vacuuming upstairs, then he'll, he'll say, oh, hey, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of this area or whatever. It's like, a, it's like a relationship. You try your best to accomodate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the city together. We're living in Cape Town together. Yeah. So people will assume that we have a blast. But actually, as roommates, we don't do much together in the house other than j bro stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you were younger, I feel like we would have been more active. We, we rarely have people over other than like our girlfriends. We're almost kind of anti-social in a way. <laughs> and also I think you prioritize work so much that you don't want to suck your attention or energy away by partying, socializing, and stuff like that. And me, I just, I just don't like people. Um, <laughs> that's, that's why you prefer the camera. Yeah, I prefer talking to a camera. So it just works out. Okay, perfect. But then you know another thing. Another thing is, some people would be like, "Oh, you have roommates? How, how old are you? Right? Like, what roommates? They look at you as like not there yet. Does he need to financially? Has he not moved on from college life? People that judge you on that are kind of kind of snobby, to be honest. So many people are not fortunate enough to afford a place on their own in your city. So let's talk about life in New York City in general. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's more relevant to people. You lived in New York City almost your whole life. You think you're gonna be here forever? I think if I was 25, I would say yeah. But now that I'm a little older and I feel like I've been to more places, I feel like there are other options besides living in New York City. I, I, I used to think that New York City was the best, greatest city in the world. And I couldn't really imagine living anywhere else. Uh, um, you're talking about what? Seoul? Europe, Seoul, any metropolis. I'm actually even open to like suburban life too. I don't think I can do the suburb life right now. Mm. I feel like if I found a suburb, I'm gonna be too inconvenienced to go out. I think because you're like an extrovert personality, you wanna be surrounded by people. Whereas I don't really care about that. I think I can be like in my own little suburban home. Oh yeah? <laughs> like cooking and like chopping the log. <laughs> Renovating the that house. That should be your next uh, vlog when you're 45. <laughs> No, I think I think I'm gonna be vlogging about that in my next <laughs> the next stage of my life. I'm gonna be one of those like uh, like a home improvement dad. <laughs> you know, build a wooden table. <laughs> I'll I'll watch it for you. Do you think it's also convenient though? That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm in the, when I'm home in the suburbs, I have to drive 15 minutes to go to a convenience store. Mm -hmm. I can roll from my house <laughs> to CVS. Yeah, that's true. In like two minutes. Yeah, there's a 24-7 mart always open. Yeah. Uh, if I need to get a medical exam tomorrow, I can find a clinic mm -hmm. within a one mile radius. If you need a dental checkup, like I go downstairs. <laughs> like two, two steps down. I'm closed. A closed? Yeah, uh, okay. It's not 24-7. <laughs> what else? Uh, if you want to go out, probably the party is within a five mile radius of you. <laughs> yeah. But I think going back to what you said, if you don't have friends, it can be very lonely. Oh, uh, I see. Because everyone else is doing that, but you're not. Exactly. Or you're doing that, but in a very superficial uh, level. I see. Some people feel lonelier in New York City, which is the irony. <laughs> you the most, one of the most densely populated city in the world. Yeah. How can you feel lonelier? Relationship that you build here could be very superficial. A very transient place. People are going in and out, and people are, everyone's interacting with everyone. So it's like that's less meaningful uh -huh. uh, connection. Do you guys feel that way in big cities? Even though you're surrounded, do you feel lonely? I know like a lot of people who are just kind of like social butterflies. Who just like, I'll meet people here, meet people there, and like, some people just have energy to do that. But yeah. I think a lot of people start to do that and they're like, I get sick of it. Uh -huh. and they're like, I hate New York City. And they kind of phase out of like this uh, stimulating lifestyle. They just want some, Quality stability. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, if you get a job that pays well, why not live here? Dude, that's a, that's one of the biggest things. Yeah, like you're paying insane taxes. 
insane tax. A lot of jobs rent. are getting underpaid. Yeah, it depends on what service you're Everything providing. is super inflated. Right. Like a hot dog was eight fifty. Yeah, we just uh, corn right dog. Park. I mean, there, there's still definitely ways to cheap out, like not go out to eat, eat eggs and rice. But then why be in New York City, right? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> why am I feeling guilty? You trying to move? <laughs> You know what would go viral? If we kiss right here. Yo! I'm good, bro. Whoever backs off first oh. has to give the other person $100. Wait, 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 wait. I don't, I'm not gonna give up, though. Oh, me neither. Yeah. I have a good reason not to. I don't to think we up. should play this game. I think we're both too prideful to, uh, to give up. We'd end up making out. Well, then we both win. How many subscribers do you got? 160k? 160k? Yeah, check us out, bro. Say hello. You guys visiting or what? Yo, what's up, yo? What do you like about New York? Pretty much everything. Everything. Any life advice? Life Focus advice. on you and stay successful. Oh, that was wow, pretty, pretty deep for us. How old are you? 16. 16. Six. Yeah. yeah, at 16, I was like picking my fingers. <laughs> Especially my butt. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe to Jay Bro. Oh, oh love that's it. Okay, um, that is all we have for tonight. See you next time.